Welcome back guys. Today we have a Naruto to Baruto Shinobi Striker video of which has been out for three years and there are no updates. No your in place, trash. To the cosmetic for the lobby, nor the map. No update to the PvP style, which we play in Shinobi Striker. And there is no update to the objectives of which we play in the game modes, obviously in Shinobi Striker. Let's get into the video. There are three things you need to know about playing Shinobi Striker and to close that skill gap, especially in solo queuing. Are you always a loner? Are you always by yourself just like me? Listen, I'm gonna teach you my ways on how I go 9 0 instead of 3 and 3 like this other time. Give it to me! Give it to me! Give it to me! Have no fear, HD is here. Guess what? I'll hold your little hand and make sure you guys are good at Shinobi Striker. <coughs> Welcome to the HD 2K school of being good at Shinobi Striker. The first thing you need to do is order your tabs on the play style that you're gonna do and what roles are you gonna play guys do not worry i'm gonna go into this deeper like i did your grandma yes miss betty is gonna get d down by shinobi striker youtuber listen guys what you need to do is look at your tabs and what they are set up for there are two main ways that we can set up your tabs the first one is for the objective for that week so it's a ninja world league and we have base and combat so you would set up your tabs based on the base and combat that you would need to use those builds for or the other way is just set up for straight attack straight range straight defense straight healer regardless of the objective in shinobi striker you're probably thinking wow that's really cool in all hd but how does this get me better listen here you little baka the major thing you need to think here let's say you're a healer main you have four different classes on that one tab for a specific nwl so that way you can counter anything you need to and maybe the next tab you have more of a survival healer tab or let's say you're just an overall type player listen you'll have an nwl tag where you can do all these different heal range defense and attack builds so you'll never be out of the loop next up i definitely think you should play exactly how you want to play in shinobi trucker because you bought the game you bought the dlcs but i do definitely recommend that you do have one of those meta builds on your tabs just in case some things get a little bit hairy and your jutsus that you're running with are just really not working out always go back to that meta to save the day now this isn't a tip it's just a helpful hint one of the biggest helps in shinobi strikers is playing with a team now if you're playing by yourself always stick with the people that are on your team not necessarily in your squad but on your team that way you can emote and i recommend you do use the emotes to help your healer or whomever on your team know that there's something going on and they will see that regardless if they have emote or use them at yes, all sir! side note let's go over your settings display settings doesn't really matter but you might want to keep it at six and look at your controls what are your sensitivities now listen your sensitivity should be on 10 but if you can't get there go up by one a day and you will notice a gradual change but not too much if you go from five to ten you'll notice a huge change and then overall play with with the sound you don't really need the music and sound effects need to be at 30 or 40 so you can hear next up is movement all right this is a tutorial for the ninja run now first take your left hand your right hand and you put it out like a v and then you twist it back like this kind of get down in kind of a crapping position a little bit now there's a lot of tutorials and i'll link some down in the description but first things first you need to learn about r2 and x and r t and a what this allows you to do is jump up very quickly and not keep your hand on the when i jump you see i keep my hand there and that's not what we want we want the quick spring up and bounce back up practice makes perfect now definitely use the tuning exams and go around the track using your r2 x or for xbox r t a keep doing this until you are proficient so you can add that l2 r2 x which is just a front flip and it makes you a little bit faster and makes you a little bit cooler for xbox users this is l2 r2 a make sure your left analog stick is going to the front and flooring it the whole time hidden roads actually makes a 16 minute video about strictly about movement so if you're lacking on that go check him out i want to be ninja <laughs> Listen, if I get canceled for that and my career ends, I had a good career. I'll die on that sword. Anyways, guys, there's something I noticed in NWL and survival. You guys tend to switch your targets a little bit too much. Keep on one target so you don't get hit from behind. And nobody likes to get hit from behind unless you are Grandma Betty. Ha 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 ha. Anyways, guys, make sure you do keep that target on there. Lock on with the red because you will get hit from a different side when you're not focused on somebody. And make sure you're always keeping your head on a swivel because that will help you stay alive in the pit and nwl i'll see you guys in the next one peace 